Good day everyone, I'm Teacher Michelle, your science teacher. Come and explore the wonderful world of science. Because in science, it's not just magic, it's real. Motion and Reference Point Now that we are under enhanced community quarantine, what are the things you do at home to make your day productive? From the time you wake up, maybe you start your day by fixing your bed or having some exercise routine. You may help your parents prepare breakfast and eat with your family after. At home, you may also aid in doing household chores such as washing the plates, cleaning the house, or arranging the clothes in the closet. Another thing, you may also help your siblings in doing their modules or do some recreational activities like reading a book or playing with them. In your everyday routine, most of your activities need movement. Therefore, motion is an essential part of our daily life. At the end of this lesson, you were expected to Define what motion and reference point is. Explain how to tell if an object is in motion. Give the importance of reference point in describing the motion of an object. But before we proceed, let's see what you've learned in grade 4. Direction. Choose a happy face if the statement is correct and sad face if it's incorrect. Number 1. A wooden table requires greater force to move than a plastic chair. Number 2. It needs less force to move a pencil than a book. Number 3. An object moves because you apply force to it. 4. If you kick a basketball and a golf ball, with the same amount of force, the basketball will move farther. And 5. When there is no force applied, there is still movement. Let's check your answer. Did you get all the correct answers? Well, that's great! You have learned in grade 4 the effects of force applied in the movement of an object. For example, a toy car will travel farther when the force applied is stronger and in contrast, it will travel nearer when the force applied to it is weaker. Either the force is strong or weak, the toy car will move because you applied force to it. If there is a force applied, there is motion. You cannot say that an object is in motion without a force or set of force acting on it. Let's study about motion and the use of reference point in describing the motion of an object. Let's study the pictures carefully. The pictures were taken when the girl was walking. How do you describe the position of the girl in picture A? How about in picture B? What made you think that the girl has moved? What objects in the surrounding can you use as your reference point to tell that the girl has moved? Can you describe how the girl had changed her position from the tree? Using the door of the house as your reference point, where will the position of the girl be if she walked a few more steps? What happens to the position of an object when there is motion? What is the name of this game? Tug of War Correct! It is a tug of war. Have you ever joined or watched a game called tug of war? The illustration shows two teams on each side of the rope trying to pull each other across the given ground marker. You can see that both groups are giving their best to stay in their positions. However, what do you think will happen if one of the teams loses a strong member? In the game Tug of War, when one of the teams loses a strong member, the force between the two groups will become unbalanced 
resulting in the change of the position of the opponent's group towards the ground marker. The force that was applied by the two groups creates motion. But what is motion? Motion is defined as the change of position of an object with respect to the fixed point. It takes place because there are unbalanced forces acting against each other. When there is movement, there is motion. Again, how can you tell that something or someone is in motion? It has something to do with comparing it to another object or place known as the fixed point or the reference point. A reference point is a fixed place or an object that is used to determine if another object is in motion. For example, when you are biking at the park, you know that you are in motion because you compare yourself to the ground, trees, posts, and even to the other people standing along the park. Those things are all considered as reference points. They help you determine if you are actually in motion. Motion is relative. An object in one situation can be at rest, but in another situation, the same object can be in motion. For example, consider a person sitting on a moving train. The person sitting in a moving train is at rest with respect to the other passengers, but he is in motion with respect to the objects outside the train. The motion of an object is always said to be relative to an observer or something at rest. Now let's try to do this activity. Materials needed are a small ball, toy car, masking tape, marking pen, hard bound book, and any object that can be used as a ramp. For the procedure, mark a spot on the floor with a masking tape, label it point A. Then place the small ball on point A, then blow it. Using the table, put a check in the table if there was movement after blowing is applied. Then, place the toy car on point A. Then, blow it. Again, record it on the table. Next, place the book on point A, then blow it. Again, record it on the table. Repeat procedures 2 to 4, but this time, by pushing them instead of blowing. Record it on the table. Now, repeat procedures 2 to 4, but this time by placing them on a ramp instead of pushing. Again, record it on the table. You may pause the video while doing this activity. Answer the guide questions. Number 1. Which action causes all the objects to move? Number 2. Why do you think this action causes movement? Number 3. Which among the objects are hardest to move? Why do you think so? Which among the objects are easiest to move? Why do you think so? 5. How can you tell if an object is in motion? 6. Why is it important to determine point A or the reference point in describing the motion of an object? Let us do learning task number 2. Direction, put a check mark if a given situation shows motion and cross mark if not. Number 1. A farmer plowing the soil with a carabao in reference to the mango tree. Number 2. A boy running towards the finish line. Number 3. A cup on the table. 4. A boy and a girl dancing together. 5. Rotating blades of a fan. Now let us check your answer. Did you get all the correct answers? That's impressive! Now let's do learning task number three direction list down at least five activities you do at home which involves motion and which do not involve motion always remember that motion is the change of position of an object 
with respect to a reference point. Reference point refers to a fixed place or object used to determine whether ob other objects are in motion or not. Motion is caused by force or set of forces. It takes place if there are unbalanced forces acting on an object. There is motion if an object shifts position from one place to another. It is important to set a reference point to determine if there is actually a change in position of the object after the force was applied. Hope you learned something today. Thank you for listening. God bless.